Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Zeke here, and I did a thing. Yeah. I rode the dragon. I slayed the dragon. Okay, I completed the dragon. Okay, I limped through the dragon. I got some okay footage. Part of the reason I didn't get that great of a footage is because I forgot to bring my little case with all of my memory cards and I had one micro SD that was in my 360 camera. And the 360 camera is relatively new to me so I got crappy footage like this. Yeah, sorry about that. But it also, I'm presuming, takes up a lot of memory because when I went to hit record on my GoPro for the trip through the dragon, it wouldn't start recording. So I pulled over, realized I didn't have a memory card, looked at my saddlebags, realized I didn't have a memory card, <sighs> and then put the memory card from the 360 camera into the GoPro and I had nine minutes left. So you're gonna get probably less than nine minutes of the dragon once I get done editing it. But you'll still get to see part of it. But the Dragon is an iconic road for riding motorcycles around the United States. You, the Dragon doesn't go around the United States. People in the United States think it's an iconic road. Actually, around the world. When I got to the other side of the Dragon, it was mostly French and German that I was hearing from most of the tourists that were in the North Carolina side. It's 11 miles between Tennessee to North Carolina. It's only like the last mile or less that's in North Carolina. Well, the part that goes to the resort at least. Then you can turn around at the resort or you can go down to the dam where Harrison Ford jumped off. Well, a dummy fell off and they filmed it and said it was Harrison Ford. In the movie, The Fugitive. It's right there across the border past the resort for the dragon, so. But it's an amazing ride. It is 11 miles and I've got the shirt. 318 curves in 11 miles. Uh, yeah, I can officially wear this shirt now because I did it. And then when you get back from watching this footage, I'll tell you a little bit more. But yeah, sorry that I didn't bring my memory cards and get a full one. I will go back and I will get a full ride of the dragon on memory card. And hopefully it won't be raining like it did on this one. All right, so this is the base of the tail of the dragon. You have drive by this gorgeous lake. You can see the Smokies in the distance, maybe, if I can keep my head turned that way without racking on the curves. Watch the road, Zeke. This is a gorgeous view. I'll turn it back on. I've got to save memory because I don't have a whole lot on here. Here's a better view of the Smokies and the lake in the background before I get to the dragon. Gorgeous. There you go. There you go. All right, so I've already been through a couple miles of the tail but I've also only got a couple minutes of filming. So I'm just gonna let this run until my memory runs out and go from there. So this is the tail of the dragon and I'm gonna quit yapping because I need to focus. They have paved this since I was here last time. curvy <laughs> oh. the nice thing about the dragon is there's pull-offs so you know when people are going slow they'll pull off and let you go by okay I'll be honest I'm the one pulling off most of the time <laughs> But I think at last look, I had like eight minutes left. So you may get, you know, five or six miles of this. 
I kind of wanted to see what the dragon was. I've been down there once, but I took it on in a transit van. Uh, you see the wreck videos all over YouTube, but I'm not going to be going crazy fast. A lot of it has to do is on these sharp curves that are blind curves, people actually come into your lane, and that's not good. Or fun. And there's cliffs over there. Well, that's not really a cliff. It's just a steep drop. And you can play pinball, bouncing off the trees. Boom, 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 boom. What I'm hoping is if I talk about it enough, that it's not going to happen to me. Stay in your lane. I'm trying. The speed limit is 30 here. Um, basically, they used to have, this is one of the famous curves where the tractor trailers would jackknife. Well, not jackknife, but they would take up the whole curve and they'd have to do like a three point turn just to get around it. But I mean, this is not, undoable if you're safe I mean if you keep it at a decent healthy speed healthy speed like there's a big drop off that would not have been fun if I would have not paid attention Ooh, I was bogged down I should have gone down in the first on that one gosh how many photographers are there in the dragon kill boy and now 129 photos Alright, so this says 15 miles per hour. I could probably take it 20, but I just want to be safe. First time on the Dragon on a bike, so I'm not going to be crazy. Now that's kind of a cliff. And even when I say cliff, it's only about, oh no, that's a good 100 feet. My bad. <laughs> Here's the thing about the dragon to me. I'm only a few miles in, and yes, it's gorgeous, and yes, it's technical, and actually, this stuff will make you a better rider, learning what your bike can handle, and all that good jazz. But this would be so much better if it was like over after about five or six miles, which is, I'm not there yet, but close, but I'm already getting to the point of, oh, okay, oh, another turn. Oh, look, another turn. It's still awesome. I mean, it's still a iconic motorcycle riding road, highway, with amazing views, which you don't really want to look off of. You just want to focus on the road. So one different one thing I could tell you different about this versus the uh, Needles Highway. The Needles Highway, you can kind of focus on the view a little bit. There's these switchbacks, but they're not as as common. And for those of y'all watching that ride that are going, oh, he's not even scraping his pegs. I don't want to scrape my pegs. I do want to get it in second gear though. And technically, I'm on floorboards, I'm not on pegs. But you see all the, the riders that are on this road. There's a lot of them. got a trailer pulling a boat I don't know if it's over 30 feet but there's a 30 feet limit on this road I don't think he was though the yeah they finally banned the um, semis from coming down through here
But you can see, like, when I come back, those are going to be blind turns. I probably won't have enough memory for the comeback. But uh, you can definitely see where the blind curves are. I tell you what, a few of these curves with those little broken off chunks of concrete on the right have a pucker factor of 10.5 out of 10. Because, I mean, you're just missing them by inches if you're not careful. I'm missing, missing them by feet because <laughs> I'm being real careful. <laughs> This is one of the, good lord, there are camera people all up and down this road. But I think that's probably the thing that sucks the worst about this. I mean, it doesn't suck. This is fun. And I've never taken my road glide on the twisties like this. So I did want to see, you know, what it could handle, you know, how fast I need to go. Like I said, I've had my road glide for two months. And I don't know how to shift it. Now I've had my grow glide for two months and I still haven't really pushed any, you know, lean limits, anything like that. Like with the needles highway that I told y'all I wish I had footage of, even with the twisties, you could still be looking off into the distance and seeing all the cliffs and the rock formations and everything. Here, you really kind of got to focus on the road because there's some places on these curves where the cant is the opposite direction than it normally is. So if you're not used to that, uh, very uncomfortable. Damn it. I can't believe I didn't take the memory cards. <laughs> okay, I'm really not that disappointed. I got to ride it. I got to show you some for footage. Footage? Sound like the speed of shift. I got to show you some footage of me riding the dragon. Here's where it got crazy, and I'll never be able to prove it because I didn't have enough memory cards unless you go and look at the dates and look at the weather channel from those dates and that area and it's pain in the rear so i got to the resort at the end of the dragon on the north carolina side went to turn around and come back i was so excited i completed one way now i was going to go and do it the second time coming back through and about a mile and a half in it became a monsoon i couldn't see 10 feet in front of me most of the dragon on the way out i think i maybe went up into third gear twice at most most of the time you stay in about second gear first curve i kind of fishtailed a little bit i was like okay i'll slow down this was all in second gear uh second curve a little bit of a slide slowed down again then i hit one of the switchbacks and did a big little woo wobble woo wobble woo wobble wobble and I rode about eight miles of the Dragon in a monsoon in first gear, going real slow. It was so slow that for those of you that ride, you understand about counter steering. Well, I was going so slow on some of these turns because I couldn't see anything and it was wet and it was raining everywhere that I was actually really steering. Like if I was turning right, I was turning right. There was no counter steering going on. But anyways, it was fun. I loved it. If you get a chance to go to East Tennessee, uh, right outside of Maryville, I think it's actually, uh, Tallacy is where it's closest to the little town. Go there, ride the dragon. If you're coming back through and you're going back towards Maryville, stop at the 129. Sorry, I covered up the mic. Stop at the US 129 motorcycle pit stop. That guy's got amazing food. His name's Dave Ramsey. He's not that Dave Ramsey, but his name is Dave Ramsey. He's a cool guy, he's a rider, into motorcycles, got a lot of neat little gear. That's where I got this shirt. Of course, I didn't get this shirt at another stop. But it's a fun place to ride, uh, and it's not just the Dragon. Like, if you get out to East Tennessee, you go up to Dr Johnson City. Uh, still there near the Dragon is the Foothills Parkway. They just finished the Missing Link. Uh, go to my buddy Rusty Bagger's YouTube channel, or Rusty Bagger 24, I think is his YouTube channel. Here it is right here, Rusty Bagger 24. And check out his ride of the Missing Link. Anyways, that's it. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed the really quick video. Well, not quick. It's longer than most YouTube videos, but... It's shorter than the uh, other dragon videos. Hope you enjoyed it. Ride safe, have fun, enjoy your life. See ya.